Sir. What? Just wanted to talk to you for a second. This better be good. Yes, I know. You really don't like me, do you? Uh, boast? Well done. Thank you. Uh, it didn't change anything. Another boast? Well done. Come on, keep working, boast. Really? Yes. Interesting. Yes, that potion is awesome. You're pathetic. No, the potion failed. Oh, it's actually good. Okay. Remarkable. Nope, that went down. You're pathetic. Okay, a joke? Ugh, that's foul. Yes, what did it do? Go up or down? 26, damn it. You're pathetic. 18. Really? Interesting. Uh, come on, give me po No, positive. Not now, not later, not ever. Okay, sort of. You're pathetic. Uh, really? Interesting. No. Well done. Ugh. You're a big fat liar. 24. See what I'm saying about the positive and the negative not matching up with the number? I wish I could say that. 16. You're a big fat liar. 26. I wish I could say that. 18. Really? Interesting. 28. Okay, we're getting there. I wish I could say that. 38. One, okay, one more really good hit. Come on. Remarkable. 58. Done. That works for me. Will you will you talk tell me about it without having to do the scroll? <gasps> I don't care about your trinkets. I am a noble knight of the dragonborn. You are nothing to me. Get out of my sight. Okay. What about if I wait, where is it? Uh Sir? Sir. One moment, sir. One moment of your time, sir. Put me in first person. What the hell? There we go. Sir. Sir! No, stop, 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 stop. Say your piece or stand aside. You! What can I do for you? Dragonborn Elite Ring. The ring. It belonged to my father. Where did you find it? Oh, thank God this works. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yes, I, I found it in Fatback Cave. Uh, I met a knight of the Dragonborn there named Sir Scartius, and there were three other deceased knights in the cave. I think there were three. One of them, an elite knight. I told him he was getting too old to go out fighting goblins. He always had a thing about goblins, you see. That's why he formed the Knight of the Dragon Knights of the Dragon War. This must be the elite knight, I suppose. When my brother and I were ch his brother, okay. When I were children, we were driven from our home by a marauding tribe of goblins. Ooh. They killed my mother, and my father swore that he wouldn't rest until all of the goblin tribes in Cyrodiil had been destroyed. Oh, so it was his father that had the elite ring. So he formed the Knights of the Dragonborn and recruited others to help him locate and destroy all goblin lairs. I became a knight when I came of age, and I've slain many goblins and cleared many lairs. But one lair I was not able to clear was Fat Back Cave. That's why my father had gone there. I cleared it for you, sir. To prove that he wasn't too old, and that he was still a greater knight than I. There was some family rivalry going on. And now he's dead. Well, thank you for returning this ring. His ring. I'll make arrangements for a monument to be erected in his honor. Say, you wouldn't like to help me out on another matter, would you? I've been trying to find my brother, who I haven't seen since we were children. Will you help me? Uh, well, I guess you don't mind that I'm wearing your order's uniform. Sure. Great. Like I said, I haven't seen him since we were children. He was kidnapped by the goblins that killed my mother. He probably looks similar to me, although he's slightly younger. Sorry, I haven't got any more to go on, but if you do find him, let him know where I am. Let me know where he is, so we can arrange to meet. Right. Something is just a bit off about Glathir. Someone needs to keep an eye on him. <sighs> Thank God that worked. Be seeing you. What is it now? It's good to be able to speak on friendly terms with you, Sir Elaine. Whew. What time is it? It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, uh, we don't dare go back outside, because I'm sure it didn't... And nothing else is, you know... It's not like the mages have suddenly popped... Why, pop Why is go she away. following me? Strange person. Well, it worked. The scroll worked. And the, the potion of personality worked. That's good. Okay, so what does the journal tell us, then? Sir Alain Uruk described his brother to me. I remembered the strange. <gasps> oh no! 
Sir Elaine Uruk asked me to help us find his brother Jim. I didn't know his name, Jim. He didn't say a name. I've agreed to help Sir Elaine locate his brother Jim. Apparently he was kidnapped by goblins. Seemed a strange thing for goblins to do. They usually just kill you. When Sir Elaine Uruk described his brother to me, I remembered the strange Breton man I encountered living among the white-skinned goblin tribe. I fear that was Sir Elaine's brother. I'd better mention this to him. Sir Elaine, wait! I've put two and two together somehow. But Sir Elaine. Right. Sir Elaine! Go ahead, please. I have, I'm afraid, bad news about your brother, Jim. My brother is... dead? Uh, yes, actually, I killed him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I... Oh, God, this is horrible. What, what happened to him? He joined a goblin tribe, surely... Surely not of his own accord? A goblin tribe? The ones that kidnapped him? And they made him their shaman? How can the god let this happen? He was so young, and to grow up thinking he was a goblin. Well, he spoke English. Uh, so I don't know what that's about. I suppose it's good that you found him before my father did. It would have broken his heart. I will arrange for his body to be recovered. I doubt there will be many goblins in that lair now that now you've killed their shaman. <laughs> he knows that I killed his brother. For your service, henceforth you shall be known as a Knight of the Dragonborn. Ooh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need some time to grieve for my brother. I've been the bearer of unkind news to this man. Sir Elaine? To you and to your brother. Bother me again, and you might live to regret it. Jeez, that lady does not like me. Hmm. I have told Sir Elaine Uruk of the demise of his brother Jim. I'm not sure whether he was upset or angry, but he made me a knight of the Dragonborn. He asked for some time to grieve for his brother, but I guess he will soon have a noble task for me. Hmm. Okay. Keep that in mind, then. Um. Glarthir. I'm going to hide the Glarthir one, because we're not doing it. There's a... Uh, Helping one merchant. Yes. Hide the Mage's Guild. We're not going to be joining the Mage's Guild. Darcy's mind will keep out. In depth of Kenrith. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So does that do anything for my... Like, do I, do I increase my fame at all? Probably not. Fame, zero. Nope. Still zero fame. Okay. Well, we had to be the bearer of unkind news, but at the same time, we are now a member of a... Uh, does it show up in our factions? Knight of the Dragonborn, a knight brother. Now, as I said, Nebish isn't necessarily a noble dude, but he, like I said, wants to be a leader of men, and so any, any effort that he can make to do something that puts him in a position where people will admire him or respect him, he, he kind of looks me? for those kinds of opportunities, even so. if it's a little bit cynical of him to do so. Maybe he's not necessarily the noblest guy, but he's looking for chances to appear to be noble, even if he's not necessarily himself all it? that noble. We'll see. Anyway, there's nothing else to do in this goddamn town. Let's go exploring around the south side of the town this time. We'll spend one more night here in town, and then we'll uh, head back to the Imperial City tomorrow. We'll start searching for more Nernroot, I think. Oh, Sir Elaine, where are you going? Oh, I bet he's making his way to Goblin Jim's cave. Hello? There we go. How are you? You and right. your gates. Leave me alone. Let's just I just want to watch for a second. If he goes up the road, that is where he's going. I've killed far worse than you. Whoa, What's dude. Happening? You don't say that to a dude in Dwemer Armor. The Nord warriors have traveled from Skyrim with orc mercenaries to assault the Redoran of Morrowind. The Nords have always been protective of their territory. It's no wonder they get involved in these disputes. Stop talking. Enough. Ooh, that is a very disrespectful orc. Where's he going now? 
he makes a ride right on the road there, that's where we'll say he's going. He's going to see his poor deceased brother. Would you knock it off? And we slew him. Little did we know. You know, if the dude, if you would have talked to us the first time we tried to talk to you, your brother could still be alive. We tried. Alright, so I said we'd explore the south side of the town. So let's do that. We'll go around the fence here, though. <gasps> that was stealing peony? What the hell? I thought I saw a red hand on it. Maybe not. Because it was like right next to the sign or something? I don't know. I've added some music to the music folder, uh, the town folders especially, since the last time that I spoke about the music. <clears throat> this song, of course, if you've watched the Skyrim LP, you'd know is from Lords of the Realm 2. There's another song in, uh, from Lords of the Realm 2 that I've added to the soundtrack, as well as a couple songs from the uh, another Sierra game called Caesar 3. I don't know how many of you remember playing Caesar 3, if any of you do. I'm sure some of you do. A uh, fun little city-building game set in Roman times, of course. Difficult as hell, if I remember correctly. Be successful at it. Oh. Hello? Apprentice stone. No stars shine upon the tombstone. Perhaps if we're staying the night here tonight, maybe we should come by again after nightfall. There's a woman over there. I presume she's not a bandit. It'd be weird for a bandit to be this close to the city. Whoa, the castle just jumps into view there. This can't be the... Is that the river? It is! That is the... Strid River! Wow! Right there. You would think Skingrad would maybe orientate itself so that it could take advantage of the waterway as like a thoroughfare, but... A little weird to have a town, a major town, that close to the river and not be on the river. But anyway, so that's Valenwood then, is that right? Is that Valenwood? Yes, that's still Valenwood. Yep. Cool. Home of the Wood Elves. So Glarthir and uh, whatever the hell the other Wood Elf that we met in town aren't that far from home. In fact, they could probably just walk home tonight if they live right across the river. Whoa. the back of the Skingrad castle? It is. You know? So Skingrad looks right over Valenwood over there. It's fascinating. Here's, there's, this almost looks like ruins instead of just rocks. Well, while we're up here, should we visit the castle? If we can get to it? I suppose we should. Oh, I don't know if we can get to it. Hmm. You know, I don't think we can. Potion of levitation, or spell of levitation, or something. Okay. Well, let's... We'll still try to make our way there, though. Oh, hello. 
I have for arrows? I see, off in the distance, a wolf. If I have any, oh, I smell freshly buried dead, apparently. Any chance in hell? No, apparently not. Nope, missed. Um, Blood Crust Cavern. Oh, that sounds fantastically appetizing. Oh, what a shot. Took me three tries to get it, but I got it. I think we're probably right on top of Blood Crust Cavern. Indeed we are. Hmm. Skulls. Well, I don't really feel much desire to go in there. Let's find this wolf and retrieve its meat. Don't want to waste a kill, if we can help it. Prowler wolf, even. Ooh, and an arrow right through the neck. And he had an alien coin. How weird is that, that there's a dungeon that close to the castle? I know what the dungeon is there for, but... Um, Nebish, of course, does not. Nebish, I suppose I could tell you what his full first name is, but I still think I'll refrain. What the hell is this? But he was, growing up, known as Nebish, or Neb, for short. Uh, just a, just a, a tree trunk. Oh, this is the shrine that we visited yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? No, it was two days ago. Or maybe even three days ago. Ugh, god, the blurring vision. I would turn the blurring vision off if, um, it wasn't actually necessary for Duke Patrick's to be balanced. Because the way that he penalizes you for not having any fatigue when you're fighting is he blurs your vision. So if you don't have the blurred vision, you really don't face a penalty for being low on fatigue when you're in combat. It's not really fair. I mean, I say it's not really fair to the NPCs. It's kind of a silly thing to say, but you, I think you understand. What, oh, no. You understand what I mean. Going this way means that I will have to moonwalk to get back into the city. I don't want to do that. Can I skip up these rocks and go over the castle bridge? Oh no! He has a silver longsword, this guy. Oof. Well, I don't use longswords, otherwise that'd be tempting to take. He has a ton of paintbrushes. <laughs> Is he looking to exploit the paint paintbrush glitch? I won't. <laughs> Take his stuff. I didn't kill him. He's not my enemy. Though I will rue it. Come on, you can get up these rocks, Nebish. A couple of hours after the setting of the sun. Okay, so we'll just check out the castle and then head back into town for a dinner. And uh, a bed. And we're going to stay at the West Wheel Inn again. We're not staying again at Two Sisters if we can help it. Hello? Mother Wart. Ah! Blurred vision. Ah! We found a path. this? 
Skin grad citizens and visitors. Uh, I guess I'll read this. This warning is issued by the decree of the Imperial Legion's authority due to recent events in County Skingrad with the beneplacito of our most esteemed and revered Count Janus Hasildor of Skingrad. Let it be known to citizens and visitors alike that access to derelict mine and cursed mine is discouraged by the authority of the Legion. Recent murders and disappearances in the lands neighboring these mines have prompted an investigation that concluded the following. Derelict mine. For several years, a well-known lair of lesser goblin is overrun by their greater kin. It is not known from whence these powerful goblin raiders came. It is clear that their intentions are much more aggressive than what we are accustomed to from these beasts. All citizens and travelers are advised to avoid the whereabouts of derelict mine until further notice. Cursed mine, for long an uninhabited cavern, is now suspected to give shelter to a nomadic group of Amazon warriors. Several young male citizens of Skingrad have gone missing in past weeks. The Imperial Authority suspects that the work of these outlaw and savage female clans is behind their disappearance. Any information regarding the whereabouts of Arbitus, Chengis, and Darthus Shadan should be immediately reported to members of the Imperial Legion or the local Skingrad militia. We fear what these fine and able men may suffer under captivity of Amazons. Mercator Hosidus, steward of Skingrad Castle. Hmm. I say there, Night Watch. The... Sir? You know anything about these goblin and Amazon monstrous. Not only does Shamir make a good wine at the Tamika Vineyard, about wine, okay. but he's really good with his bow, too. I heard he'll train you for a fee. Hefty fee, no doubt. Bye. Bye. No, just the beauty of Skingrad cars. All I wanted to do was admire the beauty of Skingrad like this at sundown, and the game just spit in my face. Still, how does that freaking look? You can see Kavach over there. Surely still probably putting out the fires from the Daedric attack we've heard about. Look at the majesty. Beautiful. Okay, let's let's move on before it crashes again. things in there? I don't know. Probably a bit late to be bothering the court, but let's go in and see if we can check out the main hall at least. Yes, there's no one in here plate set for someone. Oh, hello. What do you want? Nothing, just saying hello. Goodbye. Count Hasildor, I presume. Hmm. Right. Well, I guess we should come back another time, maybe, when there's people here to interact with. In the meantime, though, we've seen the main hall. Castle Skingrad. Oh, there is somebody there. Oh, it's just another guard. Never mind. Okay, to the town, to the inn. Some dinner and some sleep. Just gonna listen to the music for a minute, if you don't mind.
Evening to you. May I help you? Just Go ahead, please. Saying hello, Il Ilbint. Western Cyrodiil is called Colovia and includes the Gold Coast, West Weald, and Colovian Highlands regions. Thank you for that interesting and Bye. downright mundane fact. Oh, look, they opened the gates. They must have seen us coming. No, I take that back. This guard is on his way up to the castle. Anytime now. Oh, uh, God, the frame rate is terrible. It's going to crash. I know it's going to crash. Let me just say really quick. It's going to crash. Probably going to crash. Ooh. What is it now? Neon Dion. Hello. I'm Dion, captain of the Skingrad Guard. It shows. Try our wines and cheeses and Salmo sweet rolls. See the castle, but don't expect to see the count. He doesn't mix with strangers. Mm. Okay. Fair enough. Milona Umbranox is better off without that irresponsible husband of hers. The most honorable thing he ever did was to disappear and leave her alone. Hmm. Umbranox, huh? Take care. Nebish searching the banks of his memory to try to remember where he's heard the name Umbranox. He, of course, knows a little bit about Cyrodiil history, but... Not enough to be able to tell you exactly. He knows Umbernox is a noble or famous name here in Cyrodiil. Couldn't tell you where, though. Hmm. This is the... Death-loving Dunmer. Bo? Nice. You may speak. Bo? Hello, how, who are you? What? Dunmer? I bought some wine from David Surly. Excellent body. He's a fine vintner. What the hell is with all the mountain cats in this? Oh no, this is the same one. Never mind. Hmm. West Wheeled in, a back door out, huh? I'd like to know how to get into that back door. I suppose I have a moment. Lo, you what are rather it? decked out. Yes. Don't know who you are, I'm afraid. Not only does Shamir make a good wine at the Tamika Vineyards, but he's really good with his bow, too. I heard he'll train you for a fee. You're not the first one to tell me that. Bye. All things alchemical, locked with a hard lock, huh? No back door. No I'm windows missing. that are easy Go to ahead. get to. Hmm. Hello. Just try something. Hmm. Right. Well, bed. Hail. Hello. What? Get rid of the torch. Damn it, I'm hitting the torch hot button. Oh, what is going on with this game today? Yeah, it's right there. I don't understand. I'll get rid of it inside, I suppose. There, it's gone now, okay. Fine. Uh, some dinner here in a quiet corner, I think. What am I doing? No, not that. Uh, canteen with full water. And some water. 
And... Um... Laura more spines. Oh yeah, I bought those because they're cheap invisibility for when I ever find another invisibility potion that I can use on the road. I'm out of crab meat, aren't I? Hmm. Wolf meat, I suppose it is. Rather gamey, I suspect, but there it is. Um, and this strawberry tart. Delicious. Evening. Welcome to the West Weald Inn. I'm Irina Giranis, the proprietor. If you'd like food or a bed, speak to me. Mainly a bed, madam. It's a wonderful room, isn't it? Uh oh yeah, actually it was it was a fine room, yes. Did you give me the bed though? It's a wonderful room. Oh isn't I it? have the bed. Okay. Must have gotten in very late last night and I've forgotten. Right. Hello there. Well Oh, I mean to tell you, madam, uh, I'm actually going to be leaving very early in the morning, so once you see me walk out that door, feel free to make up the bed and rent it out again. It'll be some time before I'm back, I imagine. What is it? Hello, hello. Just retiring to the room. Say, don't you crash on me again, game. Your bell's tolling out there. Alright. So what do we got? Um can we do any repairing? Oh yeah, we never got a new helmet because we don't have a blacksmith here. <laughs> and can we do any alchemy? Doubtful, but. I don't think we got anything new since the last time. I think I did some most recently. Very recently. Oh. We got this. Just do a bunch of damage fatigue. We can sell them. But, um, Cause I don't know that we'll really use damage fatigue all that much. So while I do this, why don't you guys just enjoy the pretty music? Restore agility. Eh. Okay. Fine. Alkanet. What does that do? I don't think I can use that with anything. No. Ah, uh, you know what? Forget it. That's fine. Now, we're going to go to bed. What time is it? For a short time. We'll level up, because we apparently leveled up twice in Goblin Jim's Cave. Never heard of that happening before in Oblivion, but... Um, we're actually going to be getting up rather early tomorrow, because before we leave town, there's some unfinished business that needs attending to. I'm afraid you'll have to wait for the next play session to see it. But rest assured, oh, I have to use personality with just one point and increase. Um, let's go with speed. Rest assured, Nebish intends to make a very... Mm, oh, I resolved to continue pushing myself. Perhaps there's no more than I thought. There's something that something about be more than I thought. Terribly handled. Sorry, I was trying to make a, a very, like, mood-altering... Get out of my room! You... 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 What?! Tiding, citizen. These two are here for an illicit affair in my room at 4.40 in the morning. I guess I shouldn't have told Irina Geronis she could turn over the room as soon as I left. For shame. God. Wow, they don't mess around here. 
Altmer and Imperial having an affair? No problem. Head up into the room. That Dunmer is going to be out of there in 20 seconds. She's sleeping right through it. All right, we're going to sit here and eat some breakfast. And I will end the play session here. When we come back, we will address this issue that Nebish feels like he must address before he leaves Skingrad. Until then, take care, everyone, and I will see you around.